Hey, what's up? So, not too long ago, I made a video trying to figure out what the best hide gatherer was in Ark Survival Ascended. From there, I found that the Therizinosaurus was the best by a pretty considerable margin. Now, because Scorched Earth was released, the Mantis and Chainsaw need to be tested to see how they compare against the Therizina. So I'm going to be testing this the exact same way as the previous video. Both of these guys are level 150 wild tames who have force tamed to level 225, then they got leveled up with all of their points put into melee damage. The Therizinosaurus also of course has all of its levels put into delicate harvesting, and the Mantis has a pretty overpowered uh, metal axe, which is just about as good as you can get. Then for the chainsaw, it's also just about as good as you can get, plus I have 104 points put into melee damage. So for part 1 of this experiment, I'm going to be spawning 5 level 150 Brontos for each method, which I will then kill and harvest, and I'll take the total and average amount of hide per Bronto after that. Alright, so after that, we see that the Therizinosaurus got 3,425 hide in total and an average of 685 hide per kill. The Mantis got almost 5,000 hide total with an average of roughly 1,000 hide per kill. And the Chainsaw got a total of just about 7,000 with an average of about 1,400 per kill. So clearly the Therizinosaurus is kind of outclassed here, but we will see in the second part of this test. And by the way, if you look back at the other video, you will see that the Therizinosaurus' uh, stat numbers have changed, even though my experiment hasn't. I honestly don't really know why. I think that just might be a change in settings that I just didn't notice or something. But, I mean, that doesn't really matter. It's going to change the numbers, but it still won't affect the results, because uh, if one increases, then the rest will also increase proportionally. So the Chainsaw is still going to be the best here, the Mantis is still going to be the second best, and the Therizinosaurus is still going to be the third best. So uh, yeah, don't worry that the numbers don't match up. Alright, so for part 2, there's going to be kind of like an obstacle course thing, similar to last time. So uh, I'm going to start a timer for each method. I'm going to move them from over here at their vaults to this bront over here, where they're going to kill and harvest this guy. Then they're going to run over to this guy, kill and harvest this dude, then run over to their vault. And when they're at their vault, then I'll stop the timer and do the same for the rest. Alright, so after part 2, we see that it's not even close for the Therizino anymore. The chainsaw makes about 4 times more. The chainsaw made a little over 4,000 hide per minute, while the Therizino didn't even reach 1,000 hide per minute. Then the Mantis came in at a crisp second place, with a little over 2,000 hide per minute. So while on the island, the Therizino might have been the best method there, it's definitely not the best on Scorched Earth. The one thing I really need to add, these hide per minute numbers don't really apply to real gameplay, because this was a very enclosed scenario where everything was like regulated, so it would be the same for everything. But uh, you know, obviously it's not going to be the same when you're actually playing the game. Like maybe one day you go out hide gathering, there's brontos everywhere, and then another day there's basically nothing. So you shouldn't really pay attention to the actual hide per minute number, but the position, like the chainsaw is first place, the mantis is second place, and the therizino is third place, that's what you should pay attention to. But uh, yeah, I guess that's about it. See ya.